All right, this video is not going to be very long, so let's just jump right into it. So the first season of the Dark Pictures Anthology has finally come to an end, and all the games for season 2 have been announced. Directive 8020, which is the first one we are going to get, The Craven Man, Old Death, which will probably be about the curator, Winterfold, which was mentioned all the way back in House of Ashes, and the one I found to be the most interesting so far, Intercession. Before I start explaining my theory, I'd also recommend you watch Artisanal Egg's video about Intercession as well, as his theory about this upcoming game, and the others as well, have been very interesting, and they partially inspired me to make my own video about this game in the first place. Yeah, so anyway. This game's logo features a Christian cross positioned upside down to signify the T. This indicated that the game will be about Christian horror. And this got me thinking, what is the most prevalent type of Christian horror that features this kind of symbol? And that is of course, demonic possession. This reminded me of the Conjuring series and how the demons in those movies tend to use their powers in order to change the crosses to upside down to insult the faith. This symbol is obviously a symbol of demonic presence, at least in popular culture that is. Now let's take a look back at what season 1 did. The creator is obviously a supernatural being, and the fact that the first season of the Dark Pictures Anthology don't explore any supernatural elements was, well, disappointing. In a way, even the upcoming game, Directive 8020, probably won't have anything supernatural about it, except for aliens and parasites since, you know, this is science fiction horror we are talking about. But the game that came right after season 1, The Dark Pictures Switchback, immediately presented us with a demon. Yeah, this was a VR game that didn't really have anything in common with the Dark Pictures. Well, except their use, monsters, locations, and of course, the curator. Still, the game was confirmed to be a spin-off of the Dark Pictures anthology. And so, this got me thinking, could Supermassive be hinting at something here? The main antagonist, and well, demon that is stalking our protagonist throughout this game, is called Belial, and I believe she will make an appearance in Intercession. So here's the thing. Throughout the game, the main character is stalked by a demon named Belial, or Belial, I'm not sure how it is pronounced, who is trying to make them give up on life. The creator just sort of appears in this game, I mean, he doesn't even have a single line of dialogue, he just stays there watching and observing, which is, of course, what he's supposed to do. Anyway, Belial is the main villain of this game, stalking and taunting our protagonist. The term Belial itself is a term occurring in the Hebrew Bible and Old Testament which later became personified as the devil in the Christian texts of the New Testament. It also has a place in the occult, notably in the lesser key of Solomon and the Satanic Bible. So what does this have to do with intercession? Well, I believe that Belial is a demon that our characters will be facing off against in intercession. Why do I believe that? Well, here's my theory. At the end of The Devil in Me, we see the critter cut of the page of a book that has certain cross names that are related to the game on it. We don't know exactly what this means and why he's doing this, but we do know that this is bad. Remember, the creator isn't even supposed to give us any hints, let alone directly intervene to change the story. If there is one thing the creator does in every game, except for giving us hints and showing off his literary skills, is constantly remind us that he cannot interfere and how that frustrates him. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events, you get to shape them. In order to understand the characters of a story, the first thing you really need to know is what they want. So, we know that the creator wants to make his own choices. So, let's get back to the theory. In Switchback, we do see the creator appear in some situations where the character can die or is close to death, I guess. He does not interfere or help in any way, but there are definitely moments where he could have taken the protagonist's life. Still though, the fact that these two powerful supernatural beings like Belial and the curator appear in this game is very interesting to me, and it makes me wonder how they would interact with one another. I mean, why would Supermassive Games create such a specific demon for a game that is part of the Dark Pictures universe, if they are not going to use her again in a future game? And, since Belial is a demon from hell, it would only make sense to use her for a game based on Christian horror genre, where demons and possessions are so popular. Alright, so here's what I think. I believe that intercession will be a face-off between the curator and Belial, the devil and death. Now, the writers have confirmed that the creator will definitely have his own character arc in season 2, and in order to do that, the writers will definitely have him interfere more often. So, looking at these future games, I believe that intercession is the one where the creator will be more active than ever before, giving us more hints, warning us, and maybe even intervene physically to help us or stop us depending on the choices that we make. 
After all, let's not forget that the name itself, intercession, refers to the action of intervening on behalf of someone else. That perfectly relates to the curator. If this is not a hint, I don't know what is. Now remember, we know that the curator is a powerful being. The curator always appears in scenes where the characters can die or are close to dying, always hiding in the corners or shadows, without even being noticed by most people. The fact that he can do this in the first place shows us how powerful of an entity he really is. He can tell when someone is in danger or about to die. So, that's the theory. I believe that Intercession is the game where we will see the creator finally act and fully break the rules that he's supposed to follow, so that he can stop whatever Belial is trying to do with her curse or haunting or possession or whatever really. This will probably also get him into trouble with his boss, be it fate or god or destiny or whatever really, thus setting up a potential conflict for the finale of season 2. Needless to say, this will be a very important moment for his character. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. I am Smoking Mirror and I have been a fan of the Dark Pictures Anthology for um... Well, since I started uploading on this channel actually. Please, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Thank you for watching as always and goodbye.